Hello everybody, welcome into the kitchen. I am JT Bear and uh, today I've decided I'm finally going to try something that's, uh, well, it's been nagging at me for a while that I really want to try. Who doesn't like brittle? I mean, really, it's sugary sweetness. You shouldn't, but you do. It's not brittle. You can't help yourself. And after all, it's that time of year, isn't it? That's right, because it's always that time of year. All right, let's get started. Super basic, sort of. I saw it on the internet, so I'm going to give it a go. Got some sugar, got some vanilla, got some salt, got some baking soda, got some butter, got some sliced almonds, and got some pecans because, hey, you know, everybody uses peanuts. All right, so I've seen a few different ways to do this. I'm going to turn this up to, let's see, this goes to basically six, so we'll call it three. Dump the sugar in here. I've got just over a cup of sugar. That seems to be a very uh, relative amount that people are using online there. And half the people use water, half the people don't. I've decided to not to. Half the people use corn syrup, half the people don't. I've decided to not to because I like to keep it simple. So basically we need to let this simmer and kind of slowly melt without burning it. So here's to hope. Alright, so I'm just going to keep stirring this because the one video I trusted the most, um, basically that's how she did it. The problem with that is I couldn't understand her speaking in her native tongue and the translations in the bottom were pretty scarce. But I'm just going to keep at this. Everybody seems to think 5, 10, 15 minutes, so we'll just see where it goes. So I was looking at the side while stirring here and I'm noticing it's kind of flaking and melting off the edge of the pot, so... I have decided I'm with the just leave it and see school. Timer for five minutes still hasn't gone off yet, so, you know, waiting is. Okay, Riley. All right, so, as proof, that's about the five minute point, and uh, it started to kind of burn, caramelize, I don't know, underneath before it had melted, so I think I had the heat up too high. I'm going to let this cool off a little bit and I'm going to put it back on on one and we're going to try and slow melt this again and see if I can save this but I'm thinking for future reference medium is uh, too high let's put it back on on low and wait it out and see at least we caught it before it actually burnt Set the timer for another five minutes. Alright, now, barring anything tragic or eventful, we'll get back to you in five minutes. So this is ten minutes, and I have clearly screwed something up, and I've got the jitters of virginity, so I've jacked it back up to three, and I'm stirring it again. You'll notice we've switched out for a standard metal spoon. Starting to get a bit of a melt on there, but this is not what it's supposed to be looking at are looking like by uh, by 10 minutes from everything I watched today but you know on the lighter side there was one woman who stated that you would clearly botch this the first time so hey I'm on track so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip all the fancy stuff and I am going to crush these pecans that I've got over here because these pieces are just far too large and uh, just mix those in we'll give it another five minutes and maybe the pecans will help it melt I don't know. We'll check back in five. Stick around. All right, is that going? Going. So at this point, I'm going to take this off the heat and let uh, it just do whatever it's going to do on its own. Sugar cools off fairly quick, so we're going to move over to the other element here. And pause if you want. And uh, I've crushed up those pecans a little bit. Let's see how that mixes in there. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to put the almonds in anyway. Excuse me, sorry. It's all good. Now that's getting nice and thick. Excuse me, sorry. Bless you, my dear camera woman. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just going to mash this around a little bit more to try and mix those pecans and almonds, and then we're going to put it on the silicone sheet. go? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is already starting to get a little uh, more solid on me here. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I know who's doing dishes next. <laughs> and we'll take my silicone spatula here. Oh yeah, that's already getting quite solid. I might need another solid spoon to get this job done. If you listen, you can hear it crackling. Woo! Yeah. Careful, don't touch it, it's hot. So, yeah, this is ridiculously hot. And, uh, clearly something of a botched job. But when it cools, it'll probably still be yummy and edible, but... Definitely screwed that one up. Yeah. I don't mind, I'll eat it. Oh, I'll eat it too, but that's not quite what it's supposed to look like. Perhaps I should have poured this out a little bit sooner. We'll see. Alright, well, brittle fail number one. Oh, well, that looks about right. But otherwise, brittle fail number one. We'll have another go at this later, I think. I'm gonna try it anyway once it cools. So this video is not quite done. Stick around. Alright, the timer just went and this is what we've got for our riddle after about 15 minutes of effort. Clearly I have botched something along the line here and need to invest just a little bit more time watching YouTube. So if you can recommend a good peanut brittle video that I may or may not have seen yet, uh, by all means, link it in the comments below. I'll rescue it from the spam. But, uh, I suppose I should still try what I created, right? Waste not, want not, so... It still tastes great. It just lacks in presentation. Alright. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. And, uh, go have a little fun in the kitchen. Why not? Not gonna kill you. Probably. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.